So we're here in with Yosef, the main fisher man, and he's gonna catch us a big old trout to eat. I'm gonna be able to uh, help him net it in because I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a big old- Whoa, fish on. Join the team as we explore some of Europe's most remote and exclusive fly fishing locations with local expert guides and good friends of OYZ sharing their intricate knowledge of the rivers and surrounding forest of this truly unique landscape. Throughout this trip, following mountain passes through two countries, we were surrounded by some of the most dramatic scenery ever showcased on OYZ. These crystal mountain waters hold a variety of species of fish, and we explored deep into the forest in order to reach the most isolated and untouched locations where we would also be searching for any other signs of wildlife along the way. Get the net. Mm -hmm. I go in? Yes! That's a bit. Oh, what? Aye, ah, small. No, we, 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 we release small. it. We'll release that one. Small uh, brown trout. Oh, hello. This brown trout was a good indication that there were others to be caught at what is one of Joseph's favourite spots. So far, it had been living up to the stories, but we knew that there was more to come. Show us your net, Rams. Got it ready. Big old net for a big old fish like. <laughs> Get off. I can't wait, man. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. You see that? Ooh. Make sure to follow along with Joseph's fishing adventures by searching Fly Fishing Set on Instagram. The links will be in the description. So, not two weeks ago, Joseph caught a 50 centimeter trout here. So that's what we're looking for. So we were about to jump in, because it's deep enough to jump, and he's just got a fish on on the last cast. Whoa! Go on, Rams. Yes! Netted! <laughs> Let's get it measured. Winners. Unreal, oh, that is her bang on. 38. 38. 38. 38. Get in. Banging. Big up, man. Look at that. I need to place the bag for the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrationary beer. Yeah, true. I'll get one on. Look at that, man. Beautiful. That'll be a nice fish on the barbecue. We've got the Tegan's A. Max <laughs> Joseph. Geet up. Outside your zone, this is going to be freezing. <laughs> Go on, Sam. Do a header. Go on, coaches. One up and a header. <laughs> That's cold. Yes, Rams. That's not so bad. <laughs> it was now time for us to venture deeper into the forest. Although we were likely to find some huge fish, we would also have to keep our wits about us, as a brown bear had recently been spotted in the area. We continued on, anticipating what kind of creatures we would encounter. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart perch. Go on. Yeah. Smart perch. We're gonna go and put it in the river. Oh, it's so fast though. That's a small trout. There is, there is. I must have a small trout. Oh. I lost him. Yeah. Right, let's get him in the water. Take, 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 take. So we've got an, a small trout that was in a little pond and we're going to go and repatriate him. You ready? Go. Whoa. Ah, yes, one. He's got it. Small trout too. Let's get it back in the water. Yep. Back in the river. In it, rescuing a few of those fish. Hopefully they'll grow up and uh, be big ones someday. This is where they were. Just a tiny little pond. Yeah, when the river is uh, high on water, all these things here are flooded. And the smaller fish get from the mainstream. Maybe in three or four weeks, there wouldn't be any water left. So we're just putting them back in there. Perch and trout. 
Get in. Fish savers. Fish savers. And fish eaters. And fish eaters, but sustainably look at this. Look fish at this. eaters. This is an uh, Köcherfliege. It's an insect. Oh, yeah? They build their cage out of. No way. Good things. Is that another one there? Yeah, it's oh, moving. Whoa. Oh, you another one. Yeah, yeah, there's one. In. There's what? Oh, my God. <laughs> and yeah, there's loads of them. Whoa. You do you see it? It's crazy. Oh my god! Oh, wow, they were hidden. That camouflage worked well, didn't it? Very well. Right, next spot. Next spot. We'll cross the river here and go a bit upstream and then this, this spot and go back uh, down there. We're just going to head more upstream so we don't scare the fish. Nothing like a bit of parkour. Oh, look, at, look at that angle that he's getting now. With one fish left in our quota, we trekked further into the wilderness in search of the 50 centimeter rainbow that had been eluding Josef these past weeks. Oh, I've got a bite. Oh. A good one too. Yeah. Oh. I just fell off. So glad that the sun came out. Main man's changing flying. As Josef waded out, the boys prayed for the giant trout that had recently been patrolling this bend. Oh, there's a fish jumping there. Go on. I'm getting ready to run in. So I'll probably get the net off of him. Can't wait to swim. Yeah, I can't wait to just float. I'll be like this, feet first. Whoa. Fish on! <laughs> That's a big one. Just, just stay there, I will put it to you. Yeah, yeah. From the bend in Josef's rod, I could see that this would be the biggest fish of the day so far. Crazy. Oh, look at it fight. Whoa! Get in! Yeah, what a fish! I was just about to say. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I've been seeing it for a while, huh? Long. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, it's terrible. It's not even perfect. Let's net it. I'm gonna see if I can get closer. Oh, that's a big fish. It was the moment of truth. A trout this size could easily slip off the small barbless hook, and this fish was putting up a worthy fight. Rams get down here with the net, man. <laughs> He's Alice. Whoa, it's a rainbow. No, no, Sam, 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 Sam. Oh, oh no, oh no. I've been a plonker. That's bonkerish. Yes, yes, he's in, he's in. Oh, sorry boys, I almost did that in. It's all right, it's all right. I was very excited by that amazing rainbow trout. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> sorry boys, I almost did that in. Look at that, man. Get in, what Look a fish. fish. I caught it on the fly, it's called um, Chernobyl Ant. It's uh, made out of foam and it's a surface fly and it imitates like a grasshopper or something like that. And here it's, there's an insect called the Schnarrschrecke. It's a black hopper with a red fly, so I always tie them uh, black and orange or black and red. Catches decent fish all the time. Unbelievable. Catch, Catch and four, 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 four and a half. Four, four. Four, yeah. Oh Good my. Though. That's a decent sized <laughs> fish. <laughs> That's a big fish. We're eating good tonight. And it was crazy strong. Co compared to the brown trout before, yeah. it was a heavy fight. Okay, so it's pretty cold. <laughs> Are we in? Pretty cold and we're in. Straight across the other side. What's in that? Get yourself away. Ah! 
<laughs> yes! Yes! Go. He's floating. <laughs> Cold. <sighs> nice. Salmon. Right, me next. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh boy. <laughs> that was amazing. We're going to travel further up the river so we can smash those massive rapids there. <laughs> Dive and show. Oh, there you go. Yo, I'm getting Ooh. Ooh. This is chill. Oh. Wim Hof, shout out Wim Hof. Shout out Wim Hof. That is freezing. Yeah! Go, 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 go. Just leave no trace. Leave no trace. No. <laughs> leave no trace. Even if it's not ours. Exactly. We made our way back towards civilization. Two fresh fish in hand, ready for the barbecue. We return successful adventurers. Get off. Can't wait to get home and cook this delicious scran. Man. So, successful mission. Outside your zone. Once back at the gaff, it was time to set the fire and prepare the trout for cooking. Achievement, get wood. First we seasoned the fish with salt and pepper inside and out. We fired in some lemon slices and the fish was ready to go. All that's needed now is a couple of hefty knobs of butter before wrapping in tin foil and chucking it on the fire. Asbestos hands. <laughs> Once the garlic bread was perfectly cooked, we got to tucking in. Huge. That smells unreal. As expected, the scram was unbelievable, and it was good to debrief with the boys about our amazing day. On the second day, we would be travelling deeper into the mountains in order to put our own fly fishing skills to the test in some of the clearest and most pristine waters we had ever seen. For the day, Sam and I would be added to the less than a dozen people permitted to fish this remote river, known for its dramatic gorges and thriving population of brook trout. Just on a bike as well. At such an altitude, and with strict protections in place, all of the fish inhabiting these waters are naturally occurring, and we would be releasing anything that we got in the net. We were already enamoured by the breathtaking scenery, couldn't wait to explore more. Pure mystical. Oh, there's a witch up there, isn't there? Isn't it? Oh, look at this place, man. Joseph just got his fourth bite. So Joseph has gone for a black fly this time. Oh, there's a fish underneath it. Oh, on, 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 on. on. Yes. Oh. No way, man. Even though we were yet to catch, we had confidence that Joseph would land something as he combed the eddies. This thick forest was abundant with wildlife and home to all sorts of flora and fauna. Just spotted a tiny wasp nest. That thing. Yeah, I don't want to be near that. I think it might be a hornet nest. Fast flowing white water from the strong current of the river provides oxygen rich waters favoured by these elusive mountain brook trout. This is obviously like a bit that just like loads of trees and wood and that gets done in at. Like, look at that tree there. 
and then logs back there and home. It's a fish, he's had a bite. Yes, what a cast. Isn't it? We considered ourselves extremely lucky to be able to witness such a pristine natural environment only accessible by foot, or so we thought. He's just on a bite. There's kayakers. Look at that cat. He's got a GoPro. Yes. What a great way to experience this magical river. We hope one day to return and give it a go ourselves. It's gonna go for it, oh. Oh, oh, little bit too early. Success on the first cast. Get in. See you later. That was quick. Just let it in the water and don't put it out. Yeah. After linking up with some more friends of OYZ and local angling experts, we instantly had success and it was now time to attempt a hidden spot that was less than obvious to our untrained eye in a location where we might not have expected to catch. Go, Sean. Go, go, go. What is the feeling? Nice. Go. <laughs> These steep slopes are home to the gravity-defying alpine ibex, famous for their ability to scale near vertical slabs of rock. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Let's put you on a big old flower. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Look at this location. I know, and the water is sparkling clear. Literally <laughs> Skyrim. No, 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 no. Say no to Vidi, say yes to adventures. <laughs> no, his whole foot went in. <laughs> Small tadpoles? Yeah. Four. All over there. Oh! Tadpoles. These mountain springs produce some of the cleanest and most crystal clear water we had ever seen. 
Okay, so we've actually got special permission to fish here. It's all catch and release down this whole place. That's because they're trying to keep it natural. If you want to do it yourself, hit up Alpine Fly Fishing. Though Rams and I were having little luck, Josef continued to pull through with his knowledge and experience. Now we're moving down to the next spot because unfortunately here we didn't catch the trout I saw a few weeks ago. She disappeared or isn't hungry. Yeah, so yeah. now we're trying the next one. What do you think, Josef? They do good. No fish, eh? Yeah, well, Josef's saying probably have more success if we go to the uh, canyon part, so we're gonna check that out. Here we go. No! <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's good because you can't even jump this next bit. Got a fish on. Oh, than rams. Hey. Super nice. Look around. Beautiful. Away. <laughs> Go on. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. I felt it. I felt it. You felt it. Yeah, I felt it. Yeah. He felt it. Well, I was terrible there. Like, <laughs> I got an actual bite, and I just wasn't quick enough. Wait, well, basically, as soon as this went on, it just went for it straight away. Shit. We won't come again. We will try the next pool. Uh, you try the next pool, and then hopefully. What a place to be learning the art of fly fishing. The icy blue waters and ancient forest of this dramatic valley with its unique and diverse ecosystem had left a lasting impression on both of us. We had felt as if we had learnt a lot from Josef's guidance, and the whole experience had been immensely inspiring. Though we had not caught anything ourselves, the location and its many inhabitants left us feeling truly fulfilled. We would like to thank our good friend Josef for facilitating this magical once-in-a-lifetime adventure and we can't wait to be back in the mountains with him again. Get in! Hey! Hey! For all of you that have stuck around, we have an exclusive fly tying demonstration from this prize winning craftsman who has been featured in national fly fishing magazines for his skill and creativity. We'll go down to there, tail of the fly. Okay. Like this, not too long. Make one loose thing and then you see him. I see, this. right. Okay, yeah. yeah, then you can adjust it. Yeah. yeah. Adjust it. Mm -hmm. Then go back, always on top of the fly. Tie it in completely and then you will form the body out of it but leave like uh, two millimeters in front of it for the head part. Yeah. Look at that now. We will put this thing and then we put stuff in Whoa. there like that and then oh, we yeah. spin it. Just spin it out there. You can go with the brush, with the fibers out. You grab it with this. Yeah, that's it. That's a very Oy. simple look. Right, Rams is starting. Um, I don't really. <laughs> you need some help. Steps. There's a lot of steps. Like that. So round. Yeah. I've done it once, twice. Can and then. That, yeah. Okay. Okay. Middle finger first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I see. Because otherwise it was. Yeah. Like... Should I do another? Yeah, you, you just uh, practice it. Okay. The middle finger first, and then you can. I grab it like like that. Okay. 
Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, sure. Short. Yeah, sure. You, yeah. you can go really, really short, then you're more... Yeah, precise. Pretty, yeah, precise. Yes. Yeah. And go to the till, till there. Okay, so we'll roll out there. Uh, to the spot where you uh, want to start your tails. Legendary. Now you grab it with your right hand. Mm -hmm. Then with the left hand. And just look how long you want your tail. So, like that. Yeah, a bit shorter. A bit shorter. And then you grab it with your left hand. And tie it in with your right hand. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Yeah, mate, you made it look so easy. Yeah, but oh. it's good. Ramsey's done it wrong um, again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> getting the orange fluff on because oh, why is that? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first person to donate three or more coffees on Buy Me a Coffee will not only receive their stickers, but will also receive the fly that was made in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment your thoughts.